Hey everybody, this is Hunter Black Luna, and welcome back to Let's Play Kerbal Space Program. Coming at you live from the, which one is this? The KSPS Triumph in stable Kerbin orbit. Um. Okay, look, I don't do the post hoc things very often. But my attempts to design something that can get a lander to the moon and back are not going well at all, and it's mostly due to me being a derp. I've had several recording sessions now, several sessions, and nothing, nothing came of it. Well, some footage came, so the next video or two are going to be some of the footage from these sessions where I attempted to design a craft capable of getting to the moon and getting people back like and like landing on the moon might be ambitious but uh... Huh. it's the name of the game right? well the thing is this is a sandbox game so it's weird this game caused me to quit several times mid-session because I was getting frustrated with the lack of progression which is weird right? I mean KSP is a, a sandbox. That means I should just do what I want and have fun, right? Well, I'm not very good at this game, guys. I got a satellite to the moon last time, but that was really a surprise to me as well. So, the only artifact of my attempts, very frankly, are something that I, as a joke, marked as a bit of debris. Well, because it kind of is. These two poor bastards are in orbit of Kerbin. And so far as I am able to determine, in orbit of Kerbin, they will stay. Basically, just a tester to see if I could get a rocket that would do anything. Wrong guy. It's always the second guy. Okay, now that's pretty awesome. Whoa! And since this is the only thing... Since this is the only thing here... Or like the only bit of it, then it's super easy to move all this mass around. But, uh, okay, my point was rather on the order of... Enjoy this footage! from my previous attempts and because there's some entertaining stuff here. I know next time we will in fact try to do better and I'll try but uh, know that this game is giving me significantly more trouble than any other game recently in terms of progression. I don't know. But I uh, hope you enjoy some lander tests and some launch tests and stuff. See you on the other side. Okay, that'll make it easier to get out. Strut. You don't need to put a crater in the ground. Stop yourself. Heavy duty method. Uh, it's twice as massive as the other one. I think we're going with the heavy duty landing struts, and I think we're going with like six of them. <laughs> Now I'm kind of curious. Also, I'm not sure what to call this. Also, I was informed last time that Challenger was one of the space shuttles which blew up in the atmosphere. I did remember that, so I had sort of jinxed the mission, although it was a great success. Um, What to call the lunar thing? <laughs> the munfucker. Uh, something grand and... Oh, the Unity one. There we go. Now, will this thing stand up on the pad? I'm pretty sure it will. Bob, Bill, and Alistair will be the lucky people. We hit gear. Oh! Oh! 
it will in fact stand up, shockingly enough. Cool. Retracting the landing gear, derp. Derp a derp. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay, so we'll not do that too many times. But <laughs> I don't really have a uh, anything else to add to that. I don't know. Poor guys. Ah, I'm gonna be the person who gets you guys to the moon. Even if it kills all y'all. Okay, uh, this will give it enough fuel to blast off, because we kind of... There's so many things to try and take into account. We could also try putting on some of these things, but I mean, it's, it's the mud. We know about the mud. We'll need a battery at some freaking point. I'm just gonna mount him on the side, screw it. Six of these. Actually, do we need electric charge? Let's put four on, just in case we actually find some use for this stuff. If we put it there, they won't interfere with the operations of the craft. And that's not even to say of what we'll need to do to get this thing on the ground. Uh, this thing isn't really built to be a lander, is it? No, actually, as a matter of fact, there is an actual module that's like a lander module. Very lightweight. It would make. I don't know, because. There's the cockpits. The Mark 1 2. A cube. We could just send a goddamn cube up. Okay, now I want to see what this particular engine does. Also might not stand up, so we're gonna throttle up quickly. Yeah, parachute probably needs its own stage. Throttle up. She can't really get off the ground. Well, she can. She can just get off the ground. Now, of course, it will be much easier to escape from the one. I wonder. Okay, kill the throttle. Deploy these things. Let's try and bring her in for a landing, everybody. This is going to be delicate work. Also, we're not landing flush. Throttle up, throttle up, throttle up. Set her down gently. Oh shit! It worked! It worked! It fucking worked! Ah, just get it on the. <laughs> I still maintain that this system is capable of landing and taking off, although the engine is a little on the puny side. Um, the Mun takes a sixth of the effort to get out, so... it might be worth it to try. Or this will end up being our impromptu space base. <laughs> There's a... Okay, but the theory is solid. Really, this thing is fitted for the... Look at the size of that thing, though. That's unacceptably huge, frankly. Well, there's also this. You 
put it on there. 220. 200. It has a vectoring range. It vectors more. It, this thing requires less fuel, however. Okay, so it might be a really bad idea to try to ever use this, but <gasps> once again, I don't have a like a transition statement. It's that's all there is to it. Rocco Max brandy coupler. Oh god, the structural. What am I gonna do with this? If I no, the thing is going to be. The thing is going to wobble in flight. I think it will. We're gonna have to see about that. Ugh. Off to a great start. Now we need to design the thing which will actually get the damn thing where we want it to get. This thing is turning out huge for no reason. Uh, this is not what I want. Well, there's no reason that wouldn't work, except that's just not what I want. So let's have an adapter. But the problem is, it should go from large to smaller sort of thing. Uh, unless... There are a couple ways we could really go nuts with this. And it may come to that. Because what if we just... <sighs> I'm gonna go look at some design things. I'm going to fiddle a bit, and I'll be back in a bit. So we're probably going to recycle the Unity name and go with this complete disaster train wreck, but, or at least go with the same launching system. Also, I had a thought. What if I put another tank of monopropellant, like here, like a big tank? Because the thing needs, needs to... I apparently design rockets that need lots of thruster stabilization. So we can use that up first. Because otherwise, this thing has one tank of monopropellant that it has to use literally the entire trip. Also, the three-man pod, uh, it changes the game a bit. So we're not going to go with the three-man pod. We will go with the two-man pod on this, which is still big. But if we look at the pods, the lander can has a total mass of 2.5. Standard command pod has a mass of 0.8. Basically, the big ass command pod is a mass of 4. Which is just... Oh, it's, it's not good for you. But this has two kerbals, which is cool. And it should be okay. So I am going to fiddle with the design for a bit. And I'm not going to make you watch most of it. And we'll see if we can come up for something that goes to the moon, and then comes back to Kurth. This is the interior of the Mark II lander can, as seen by one of the people on the ground. Imagine flying this thing with this. A window that points... Uh, where is the window mounted on this? Oh, the window's mounted here. It's, imagine trying to fly that thing. I might do that just for the laughs. Uh, not today, though. I just wanted to see. Uh, this is not a model that can go on its gyros and, like, roll over and stuff. You can see it kind of... Oh, it can kind of move. But for the most part, no. Also, I'm, I'm just messing around at this point.
All right, the test of the large lander system is now underway. Let's see here. Uh, gear down. There we go, she stands. Now, prepare to fire engines on my mark. SAS on <laughs> Firing! What the f Oh, right, the parachute. Well, she's firing. Let's bring her in, shall we? Bring her in for a landing, boys. We got plenty. Plenty of the good stuff. Work the throttle, decel. Don't hit the tower. All right, we're bringing her in. Almost on the pad, too. Let's turn it a little bit then, shall we? Oh. Up, stop. Decel. Up, 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 up. Come on, Bill and Bob. Up, up, up. Okay. Okay. We don't want it to bounce. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Holy shit. This design didn't really look... Okay, look at that. They're not even really... I'd feel bad about bringing this design in. But... Also, that took a hell of a lot of fuel to land that thing. Um... With that said, though, this lander can land. Hmm. Maybe it needs more fuel. Or maybe I need to lay off the throttle like a doofus. Uh, we'll see, though, because this has got potential. Okay, with the thrusters here, it can... Oh, those nozzles are vectoring, too. That's nice. Yeah, we'll see what we can do with this. I don't know about this. Well, I don't even know if this thing's gonna stand up. Ooh, no, it won't. Okay. So it won't stand up. <laughs> That's kind of what I thought. It's, uh... <laughs> okay, their, their fear is perfectly understandable in this situation, honestly. But we should be okay. Because, uh... Actually, I don't know. Well, all that debris made it onto the launch pad itself, so that's good. Well, in any case, that was sort of embarrassing. Yeah, I like how the final craft looks, but in order to get this thing to the moon, especially with my skill, um, it's gonna be tough, guys. It's just gonna be... Guys, let's see, this is about, uh... these things yeah Let's see this 
has a dry mass of 4, this has a dry mass of 1. I don't know. But the point is, we are going to need a really big rocket to do this. This is a... And I'll try a couple tricks we've picked up throughout our experience. By this point, it should hopefully at least be in goddamn space. If we can't get to the moon with at least this fuel tank intact, then there's no point to the mission. Um, he said optimistically. But for instance, especially on this big piece of crap, something like a large tank of, of RCS fuel right there, maybe even additional RCS thrusters. Because let's see, this needs RCS thrusters. Up here, yep, yep. And down here, this needs some too. Hopefully that'll allow us some level of control. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a behemoth rocket, guys. That's all there is to it. Um, <laughs> Jeez. How am I gonna achieve? Well, if we achieve this, it's gonna be because we went. Way overboard. Or the whole project failed, I mean. That's a possibility. To we are gonna. Oh man, I don't even. Oh man. Here's the thing we need a decoupler here. Oh, Jesus. Okay, this is gonna start getting... And then, what we do now is... We add fuel boosters until we can't see straight. Oh, this is... <laughs> okay. Well, if we're doing this, uh, may as well go way, way the hell overboard. Just completely, we might as well just go insane. Make sure we got these on. I'll give this some thought. This is just to see how far this goes. <laughs> oh, it doesn't even stand up. Oh shit. Don't catch and fire whatever you got. Oh, dear. You're dead. You're doesn't even goddamn stand up on the pad. Some of it does. What the fuck? Oh, no way. What? No, 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 no. What happened? Oh, Jesus. Look. Yeah, these guys are dead pretty much no matter what happens. Oh, but that's fine. What?
utterly ridiculous. Okay, the nose cone crashed into launch pad tower. Well, okay, clearly this is not working. Uh, this is true folly, everybody. Like... this perhaps provide a height boost look what happened that seems to have made it worse um Wait, what? That little winglet is just fuck. It, that little winglet just fucked off. Like, literally, it's just fucking. I'm sick of this shit, man. I am sick of you crashing. Okay. So. The message here is. That this ain't gonna happen. That this really ain't gonna happen. <sighs> I don't know why. It's some. It's a failure up here somehow. It's just. Well, frankly, it's just too much. That's what it is. Uh. <laughs> uh I wouldn't describe it entirely as a waste of time. Well, I kind of would. Okay. Okay. Uh That's the final level of the decoupling that's necessary. Actually, I don't see why it needs to go in that order even. Just have a final final stage be ready. It doesn't add all that much mass. Okay. Ah. There we go. Parachute right on top. Ah. Uh, <laughs> now we need. Oh, we need lots of stuff. Uh, okay, we have a battery, which we, we probably don't even need that, but I mean, they gotta be drawing electricity from somewhere, right? So. Uh. Some projects were not meant to be. Okay, we have a tank of RCS fuel here. This is basically the final stage. Uh. You know, we may not even get out of the crap. Oh. Okay, we're getting out of the craft. I mean, that's... That's obvious enough. Just... Total mass, 2.25. 1.127. Okay, 90, 180. Do these all come out to the same, or is there some super efficient way that I'm just missing? Whew. 
I wonder, let's try that same design we were looking at again. But this time with this kind of a configuration. Hmm. Interesting. These are a little big then. We should just use the poodle then. Oh, the poodle's a little big. We'll definitely want to be using this for the vector thrust it will provide. And let's just test the little lander design pretty much. We might even make a stage between here that's... Ah, but if we do that too much, we're screwed. Okay, let's give this a try. This is the Challenger 3. We got to the moon, everybody. Bulldoze the debris out of the way. I don't know, I'm having fun. Okay, Dunbart. First step, deploy the heavy duty landing things. Ooh. Okay, now, let's see what you can do. Stability assistance system, and then let's set her back down on the pad as you please. She's going to stop soon. This isn't a ton of fuel for what we're looking for. Oh, 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 oh. Uh-oh. Let's see if we can land the damn thing. Well, at least this has the thrust we're looking for. And if we keep it on a low thrust, then it should be cool. Ooh, that's a little... Ah, that's rough. That's rough, because we're coming in really goddamn hot. We're going to hit the tower. Son of a bitch. I'd rather not blow up the tower. Okay, well, we're going to run out of fuel soon, so we won't have a choice. Come on, come on. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so the thing will land. And especially on these heavy-duty badass landing struts, that makes me hopeful. What are the controls for, like, jetpacks and stuff on these curls? Also, we are going to need a ladder if this guy plans to actually... We may not get out. I know you want to get out and walk around, but there's not... There's not a lot of point to that. Okay, so the lander works, although it could use more fuel. Or it could use less of me being a jackass. Um... There's ways to work around this, I think, yeah. Let's get us as high into the sky as we can. Well, that was one hell of an explosion. <laughs> Dunbart's loving it now. Ah, uh, the things we do for scientific advancement. I'm always a little terrified that that thing is going to blow up, even though there's no reason for it to. Uh, oh, I am going to butcher the hell out of this footage. Okay, uh, it's not the best lander design ever. Honestly, I just want more fuel at this point. I think. Uh, more 
mass we add, the more difficult, the more difficulties we're gonna have. Uh, let's put on one of these and a. What's the lightest engine we can find? The answer is probably. I don't know. What if we did that as a final uh, stage? Now the question is, would it hit the other stuff, I wonder? Like would it hit the command module? Would it need more clearance? You can give it... Okay, um... Not even... Okay, it's never gonna be even. But whatever. Yeah. Uh. So we land on the moon, and then everything I add here just makes deceleration more of a challenge. I don't know why I'm finding this so difficult, but I'm gonna have to heavily butcher the footage and figure something the hell out. That's all there is to it, I suppose. And hope that in the process I don't make things too bad for myself. transitory stage and finally I wish they would show this thing's uh, structural integrity rating in any case though now we just get a fucking fuck ton of everything.